Hello, beautiful internet family. Dan here from DanceTube.tv, and today I've got my thoughts on the newly released focus track for the Mavic 3. Now again, this was expected in the January update. This is something that DJI said would come out in January. We got it a lot earlier though. This is the 12th of December by the time I'm filming this video and I tested it on the 11th. I think it came out maybe on the 10th or the 11th whenever it came out. So we actually got this nice and early. It makes me think maybe it was a little bit rushed just because I had a few little issues here and there. But besides those little issues, it performed really well. And within that focus track, that actually includes active track, spotlight and point of interest so it's basically focus track refers to just tracking in general on the drone if you do want to pick up the Mavic 3, then I do have an amazing special for my audience. If you go over to the D1 Store's website, which will pop up on the screen now and will be linked in the description below, you can use the code DANS100 and you can save $100 off your Mavic 3 purchase. Regardless of which model you get, you'll get $100 off it. And you'll also get three really cool gifts as well. You'll get a micro SD card, a battery safe bag, as well as a landing pad. So a really cool offer here and it's exclusive to my audience. So check that out if you're interested in the Mavic 3. Moving back to focus track and the active track mode here. One thing that I heard which got me very excited is that they've given the Mavic 3 a bit more control over where the drone actually tracks you from when you've enabled that active track. So I was very excited about this. Unfortunately, it just didn't work for me. I tried so many different scenarios here. A few of them I didn't film. I was just trying to test without filming to see if I had done something wrong, but it didn't work when I tracked myself, which was a person. It recognized I was a person, a boat or a car. For whatever reason, it just followed wherever it wanted to follow from. But one thing that got me very excited is that you can actually track now from any direction that you want. Obviously this will be refined and hopefully working for me very soon. But with the example of a boat coming by, you can see it's recognized it as a boat and then I can tap and choose what direction I want the drone to track from. So seeing as the Mavic 3 has full obstacle avoidance, it has that omnidirectional obstacle avoidance, it can avoid regardless of which way it's flying. So it can be flying side on, it could be flying in front of the drone, I mean, in front of the boat, off to the side, behind it, on an angle, like whatever that may be. And this is very exciting. Unfortunately, I couldn't capture any sort of relevant tracking here, which is really annoying. I wanted to track in all different directions. I have no idea why it didn't work for me. As you can see, as I choose the different options, it selects it and it's telling me that I'm tracking it from a different direction, but the drone just doesn't move to that direction for some reason. It just stays put where it's tracking. Overall, the tracking mode works perfectly fine, like it tracks whatever you're trying to track. It has no issues with the actual function of tracking, but just when I try to move the drone with that option there where I can choose the direction I want it to track in, it just doesn't work. It's obviously something they've rushed out and for whatever reason, for my version, it's not working. I've watched other videos online where it works perfectly fine for them and I did the exact same thing that they did in their videos. You can even see in my video that it's telling me I'm choosing a different direction to track from, but the drone just doesn't seem to initiate that, which is a bit frustrating. You can also swipe across and choose parallel, which again, didn't really seem to change anything. So the overall tracking's fine, but just those other features don't seem to work right now. Seeing as the Mavic 3 is a very fast and capable drone, it kept up with everything I was tracking and it did a great job of, you know, keeping that subject in the center of the frame and just doing an amazing job of tracking it. So overall, the tracking works amazingly well. Unfortunately, like I said, I can't really truly test those options with the active track, but you know, active track is phenomenal, does a great job. One thing that I did notice though, is that when you're drawing over something and you're trying to track something, if it doesn't recognize it as either a boat or you know a person or a car, it actually pops up with an icon telling you, for example, with the boat, it shows a boat icon, with a person, a person icon, and a car, it will show a vehicle icon. So if it doesn't recognize it as one of those, then it won't actually allow you to enable that active track mode. So it needs to recognize that it is 
uh, one of those three to be able to go into active track mode. And that was actually something that was quite fiddly, especially with a boat that was going quite fast. Sometimes it just didn't recognize it as a boat and that subject scanning wasn't enabled for whatever reason when the boat was moving too fast, it just couldn't pick up on it. Subject scanning is still just a little bit fiddly in its current state. Uh, there were a few times that a plus popped up and I could tap on that and choose you know, to actually track whatever it was that it recognized. So subject scanning works really well uh, in conjunction with active track, but right now in its current state, it wasn't the most reliable. So I actually had to draw around things and that's where I found it would have issues. It would say either the subject is too small or it just wouldn't do it for me. Or the other option is that it would just come up as a box and it wouldn't recognize it as a boat and then I couldn't enable the active track. So again, in its current state, just a little bit fiddly, but I'm sure all of these things will be fixed very soon. Within focus track, like I said, there's three options. You've got active track, spotlight, and you've got point of interest. Um, I actually really like the point of interest and spotlight. I actually like all three of them, but point of interest is a really cool way to give you cinematic control because you can focus in on whatever it is you want to focus in on, you know, a vehicle, boat, random things on the floor, whatever it is that you want to focus in on. And then you have control to circle that object or thing that you're tracking and the thing that I love about it is you can go really fast and you can also go really slow and it's like a slider wheel that you can choose uh, I guess the speed you want to go at but what's really nice is you can create like a nice cinematic revealing shot so you could come around fast let's say you're coming around a boat really fast to reveal the horizon and then as you get close to where the boat is you can slow it right down but it's not an abrupt movement so it actually looks super cinematic and as it reveals the horizon it will go nice and slow and create like a nice slow movement as you're revealing whatever it is that you want to reveal um, and then obviously you can go back the other direction as well but I just found this worked really well obviously there's no major change here over other dji drones it's pretty much the exact same point of interest that we've seen on other drones but it just works really well and i'm glad that this was like fully functional when i used it i had no issues with point of interest it worked perfectly fine for me Moving on to probably one of my favorite tracking features right now, seeing as active track isn't working properly for me, uh, which is spotlight. So basically if you're tracking something, let's just give the example of a boat that's moving by or a boat that's coming into you know, the port or wherever it's coming into. Um, with spotlight, it basically tracks whatever it is that you wanna track. And then you as the user have full control. So it's basically spotlighting an area and then you as the user can actually then fly backwards. You can fly to the left, to the right, up, down, wherever you wanna go, you've got full control, but it just keeps that spotlight, it keeps that focus point. And that means that you can create something very unique, but you as the user have full control. You know, some of these modes take away that user control and it just focuses purely on the algorithm, purely on the drone doing its thing and you just gotta trust it. But I like Spotlight, it gives you a bit more control here and um, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun to use. I think it gives full creative control back to us um, while you're focusing on the main subject you want to focus on. Like I said before, subject scanning is enabled by default when you go into that focus tracking mode. Um, again, focus tracking is just enabled at all times. All you've got to do is just draw on the screen um, and then it will figure out where you're at. Um, you can also press that plus, so that's that subject scanning. If it recognizes something that it can actually track, then the plus will pop up and you can tap on it and automatically start tracking whatever that thing is. Um, that works relatively well, like I said earlier on. There are still some issues and it still needs to probably be tweaked a little bit, um, but that's a handy little offering here. Uh, and that works on both master shots and the active track mode. Um, really easy and a smart way to just give users um, a quick, easy way to focus on something and track it. Besides that, I was, like I said, a little bit upset that I didn't have a proper opportunity to test out that directional tracking, whatever we want to call it. Uh, there are some other videos online um, that you can check out just to give you an example of what it looks like. I will revisit this in the future and show you what it actually looks like because I think it's a really cool concept. You know, like if you were to fly and the boat's at the front of the shot, for example, so you're flying um, in front of the, let's say, boat, really, interesting perspective and then you can send the drone off to the left for example and the drone will fly around and kind of circle 
uh, and then you can move it again you know on an, a diagonal to the the rear left diagonal or whatever you may go with I love that option and I was like I said very disappointed I didn't truly get to test it but this is something that's very unique to the Mavic 3 you can't do this on any other DJI drone uh, something very cool that I'm excited to play around with so this is something I'm liking to, you know I'm liking this I'm liking that we're actually seeing DJI offer something unique to the Mavic 3 because in my full review that's coming out uh, you'll notice that a lot of the offerings are very similar to like the Air 2S or other DJI drones and to double the price and release the Mavic 3 we need to see some pro options you know we need to see some unique options here and the fact that obviously the Mavic 3 now has that tracking um, with the directional tracking but it also has that omnidirectional obstacle avoidance it has sensors everywhere all over the drone it can actually avoid everything hopefully, fingers crossed. So that means that it can do some very unique uh, tracking options here, which I'm very, very excited to truly play around with. And then, like I said at the beginning of the video, that parallel option, I have no idea because it doesn't really seem to change anything, but I'm guessing that it flies parallel to the subject. Uh, again, a very cool offering, but I would like to test it again a bit more. Outside of that though, it worked fine. The active track is great. Point of interest is great. Spotlight is great. They all work fine. I had no major issues, just the issues I mentioned at the beginning. But again, I think this was a little bit rushed just to bring these features out. And we definitely will see some refinements and improvements as the months go on. So anyway, guys, that's the end of my thoughts on the Mavic 3 focus track or active track or tracking modes, whatever you want to call it. They'd love to put so many different names and confuse people, but it is called focus track, which encompasses or or embodies, I guess, those three features, point of interest, spotlight and active track. Really cool offering, and I can't wait to see what comes next for the Mavic 3. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to have a fantastic day. I'll chat to you in the next one. Peace.